Hey guys, you're watching GT Sam. I'm Sam. Today is another Jaguar video. And what we're going to be doing is checking the supercharger coupler in the front to see if that's making any noise and if that's the result of one of our is many issues with this engine and see if it's going to stop that ridiculously ratting, rattling noise. So let's go ahead and get working. All right, guys. So as some of these superchargers go, they like to make a lot of noise sometimes and especially in the coupler in the front. So it's kind of buried down under there. So you can kind of see in the front here a little bit. There's the pulley right there. And we should be able to like, kind of like take the belt off, like take the belt off temporarily, kind of move it, wiggle it around and see if it gives us any rattling, knocking, bag of rocks kind of noise. So all we have to do is to take off all these air intake plenums and some of these hoses in the front here and we should be good to go. Okay, folks, status update. I hit the pulley down below there. It's kind of in front of the radiator with a bunch of hoses, so we just have just enough room to slip a, a socket in there with an extension bar. And I think we might be able to you know, pull up on it and use it. So, good shot. All right. It's a little tight. Okay, okay. I probably want to know what you're thinking right now. Stop messing around and pull up the tension pulley already. Yeah, I get it. This isn't exactly an easy process here. There's tons of tubing and hoses and like metal tubes in the way that I can't just really work around. It's super tight down there. And don't think I don't know how to do this. I've done this plan a couple times before already with pulling up a tension pulley, but usually I only use a wrench or a ratchet or something like that to, to be able to move it. At this point, I really had to get inventive. Okay guys, let me give you a little idea what's going on here. Tension pulley is right down <coughs> there. And there's like barely any room as you might be able to see. And there's a uh, pipe in the way. So I can't really get the socket on this. I'm thinking of other ways to do this. And here we go. This is my inventive way of doing this. So essentially what it is, a bunch of extension bars all put together and a piece of duct tape on the end of it and then I just push really hard on the tensioner and then I have somebody else which is my roommate uh, pull off the belt while I push ridiculously hard and eventually I get my foot on the wall here inventive yes safe no so okay with the help of my roommate here went ahead and got the pulley loosened up and the belt off in a very non-conventional way here. So come a little closer, let's see if we can hear any some kind of rattle with the supercharger. Ready? I'm not hearing a whole lot, which might be good. You kind of hear like the blades inside moving back and forth, but that's about it. You can hear the car coming down the street more. Oh, I thought for certain it would have been something like that. We got air coming out. Okay. Well, now we know. I think the supercharger is good. There's no rocking and rattling going on there from what I can tell right now, but yeah. So it's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. We keep moving on pressing on. Now we just know what to do, not to, what, where to go, what not to do now. And now we can put that back and move on to some, uh, hopefully, simple things as well. So let me show you what I did here for getting that pulley loose. This is my setup. I know, this is really janky. And I have a little duct tape on the tip here. This will give a little grip. So what I did, moved the air box here, and you can see the pulley all the way down there. It just has a little grip on the rubber there, so it's able to push it just about an inch enough to loosen up the belt them. And that's what I did. So be careful when you do that. It's not recommended. It might slip, it might damage something. 
but we didn't. Thank goodness, but you're gonna need a lot of force behind it. My foot was on a wall pushing, so that's how much force we really needed. So with that, tested out the pull, like the uh, pulley here, and we don't hear any rocking or rattling going on there. They may have replaced it a long time ago, but it seems to be working, and it's smooth, quiet. Um, it's not doing anything, so I think we're gonna probably just leave it alone, unless uh, we really have to go in there and change something. Other than that, we're gonna keep moving on. We're gonna go for more simple things. We can go for the spark plugs next, next once they come in. Uh, check on those, maybe that's part of the culprit here, the cylinders are all firing. And then we're gonna go ahead and check the air filters and the map sensors and keep doing the easy stuff first. All right, guys, so all in all, you're gonna do this. You can try this whole extension bar thing, but again, not recommended, but give it a try. Good luck. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm GT Sam. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe to this video if you want to see more Jaguar content and look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks. Okay, guys, so as some start over. <laughs>